Hey guys, the iPad got way better after the introduction of iPad OS, which added full support for trackpads and all other interesting features. Now attention has shifted to iPad OS 14, which is expected to be announced during Apple's Virtual Worldwide Developers Conference, which will be held on 22nd June. So what new features can we expect in iPad OS 14? Let's discuss in today's video. But before that, I'm Raj and now let's get in. The first feature is related to the Apple Pencil. 9to5Mac has learned that Apple OS 14 might include full support for Apple Pencil input on websites, meaning you'd be able to use all its abilities like tapping, scrolling, drawing and markup for a web browser. Elsewhere, Mac Rumors has obtained information suggesting that the Apple Pencil will be able to convert handwritten text into typed text. This information came from an early build of iOS 14 but with no Apple Pencil for iPhone yet, this is surely an iPad feature. Now before moving to the upcoming iPadOS 14 features and changes, guys I cover all the iPhone 12 related stuff plus all the iOS and app videos for iPhones daily on this channel and I really don't want you to miss any of it so just press that subscribe button and also click on that bell icon cause it's really easy and it's free and it will also help the channel a lot and it just takes a single tap on that subscribe button from your side. Now coming back to the iPad OS 14 features, not just the UI but the apps on iPad OS 14 will get some new and additional changes in a good way. Now we all know that iPad OS is based on iOS and a lot of iOS 14 features are gonna make their way into iPad OS 14. A report from Bloomberg claims that in iPadOS 14, you'll have the change ability to set your own defaults. So for example, rather than Safari opening when you tap on a web link, you could set it so Chrome would. But for now, Apple is simply discussing this possibility, so don't count on it happening. Another report claims that a translator could be built into the next version of Safari so the web pages can automatically be translated in iPadOS 14 without any help from a third party translator. You might be able to use apps without installing them. A new feature called Clips has been spotted in iOS 14 code and this would let you for example watch a YouTube video without downloading YouTube. Widgets could also become far more prominent with iPadOS 14 as early iOS 14 code suggests that you might be able to put them on the home screen rather than just a side panel. And while this leak refers to the iPhone, it's a feature that would arguably be even more useful on the big screen of an iPad and bring it a step closer to Android. Wallpapers might also become more customizable with options for dynamic, flat or gradient ones found in the code. The messages app could also get new features like the option to retract messages, mark messages as unread even when you have read them, see typing indicators and tag people's name in group chats, all being tested according to Mac rumors. So these are just a few features that will be coming with new iPadOS 14. If you want to know about more iPadOS 14 features and changes, let me know that in the comment section. With that, we're at the end of this video. So guys, if you found this video helpful, then like the video. If you didn't like it, you know what to do. If you have any questions regarding this topic, then feel free to ask them in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as you leave and also press that bell icon so that I can give you all the future updates related to iPadOS 14. So guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Raj and I will see you guys in my next video.